I'm mixing thin wooden paint. It's a new project for me. Let's see how this one will work out and let's go. I use a blank that I had in my um, wood pile. I really don't know what type of a wood is it. Um, so I can't tell you. And I decided that I'm going to try and do um, a platter that I'm going to use also thin and you will see how I build it together. First of all, I'm th this piece of wood that I had, I had, a, I had a recess, I had a recess and now I made another recess on the other side and the size of this recess will be more or less the size of the inside of the platter. Mark few lines and I'm going to cut it uh, with my new razor uh, from um, Blackline Tools, razor, razor uh, parting tool and those lines will be, you'll see just now, I'm going to fold them up with thin. Create the, the lines. The last line you will see it will be a very wide one and the reason for it it will be the outer rim of the project. I tried before and I tried with pewter and I tried with some um, bismuth also and, and none of them was a success. Um, all, most of them broke on me and I tried to create a different idea and let's see. This time I'm using a thin and uh, ah, it's such a fun, it's, it's such satisfying to see the thin melting, it's uh, unbelievable. By the way, what I've done over there, I just cleaned the inner purity and now I'm going to fill it up with the thin all those rims. I could not believe how much thin goes inside those rims. Uh, my mathematics probably failed me somewhere. And I think I'm not bad with mathematics. I just didn't want to lose uh, many amount of um, tin, so I cut most of it off. And now, if you are a blink blink person, that's the project for you. I was full of dust of uh, thin. Uh, of course, I had to use not only the normal mask. I had to use the, um, I used my um, filtration mask <coughs> because I was worried um, of the particles from the thin. The last layer of the, of the wood, the outer rim with the wood, it's something that I'm going to remove in the, by the end of, the, of my project because it's just a protected um, uh, rim. I want the outer rim to be made out of uh, the tin. That's why I looked for uh, the center when I done it. So I'm, I know it's, like it's going to be like a, uh, a tire around the, the wood. A thin tire around the wood. Turn it around and I'm going to start uh, shaping the bottom of this project.
you'll see plan is one side and by the end of the day you can plan but the wood and the metal reacts totally different sometimes and now you can start seeing from this side you can start seeing the 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 metal coming out and here uh, it just broke off not that i not that it doesn't make makes a big difference because I, I was planning to remove it anyway but shows you that you have to work with your safety mask all the time um safety 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 mask because you never know when a piece of the wood will just fly away I'm going to sandpaper the whole thing all the way to 400. Uh, not, I don't need more than 400. You'll see just quickly why. And only the the rim I'm going to do also with um, steel wool. And now I'm painting the whole thing with matte black. The idea is that after that, when it will dry, I'm going to sandpaper it lightly and I'll see the the grain of the wood between the 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 color of the wood and the grain of the wood To give it a little bit of color, I put clear on top of it. I wasn't 100% sure that I like it, but um, I decided to continue with the project and I'll make a decision a little bit later if I like it or I don't like it and what can I do about it. I've done exactly the same on uh, this side and I'm going to put now a little bit of um, clear and see how it's going to look like. And I'll be honest with you, I actually didn't like it at all. It was not it was not that and it wasn't that. It wasn't what I wanted to achieve on this project. So back to the drawing board and let's see what else we can do. This time I'm using chalk black, like a chalk, uh, chalkboard, and I'm going to use this thing, let it dry, and then I'm using um, a rubbing um, block, the um, auto body repairers are using it uh, to rub straight, and I'm trying to use this thing so I'll get a, a one line, um, straight line. And for the finish of the wood, I'm going to use a new product called Abrasive with a Z. Um, it's a South African made. I don't have enough information on it. I just got this box to try it and see how it works. And I'm going to use it on this one and see um, how 
it reacts and you tell me if you like it or you don't like it the color came out very 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 nice and very smooth um, it brought up the color I didn't I didn't use anything else afterwards just this thing um, it comes in two packages comes of uh, 1500 uh, K and on a 5000 K um, so I'll try it again and here I made such a idiot of myself I put a revolving center on the other side to turn it around with with um, a silicone um, silicone pad so it doesn't scratch and I didn't understand why it doesn't it turn but then I re remember it's a revolving center how can it turn so I changed it to a to a chuck and put it back again. Ah, oh, I made such a fool of myself. Like I said, I didn't like it uh, with this. So what I done is I I flat I flat it down a little bit and then I scuffed it down. Sorry, and then I put black again, the chocolate black. I'm going to put a few photos just now. I'm going to put my logo, of course. Um, I didn't have to burn lines here because it's going to be black anyway. So, and I'm going to give you a small explanation of what happened and how did I got to it uh, in the end of the video. So stick around. Thank you for staying around and to the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, a little bit unique metal. Um, I'll put, I'll make one day another leg for it to, to push it in an angle, but I'm actually lucky I came out more or less. Actually, it came out exactly what I wanted. Um, so if you enjoyed it, the play of uh, wood, um, tin, and uh, color. Uh, don't forget to say, uh, wait, 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 before, before I go there, I'm 9,030 9, or 40 subscribers. So if you don't mind, share this video with your friends and family. So it will help me getting to the 10,000 uh, that's my goal to get to the 10,000. So if you can share it with your friends, your uh, social media, I will appreciate it. Um, and don't forget to put some comments at the bottom. Uh, you like it, you didn't like it. It's something that you would like to see some more or you don't like it at all. Let me know and I will see you on my next video. Boom.